So, we have, for the fourth time in eight years, a child-free day and night. Our awesome friends, Natalie and Gavin, have got the kids. So, we're braving it. We've headed to Bookalet of Beg. Despite the weather, we're going to see if Lorna can overcome her vertigo and the, the one that just beat us the last time, which is stopped up. So we'll keep this quite short today because the kids aren't here. It's kids not on crags, I suppose. And we'll let you know how it goes. So the Anarchigach, last time we were here, we missed the left turn because we couldn't stop staring at it. And then some snow ahead. And then we're heading up towards the Clare of Beg. Just here, so last time we came up, as I say, we went a mile straight ahead here. Very quickly this left comes up, so when you do it, don't miss it. We end up losing a fair bit of time. I'm going to do less filming on this one because if you want to check it out, go and watch the Booklet of Beg one on a, a really sunny day. We did, nearly did Stub Dub and we did Stub Coririnha. So take a look at that. I forgot how steep this is, can I keep up with Lorna? Long way to go to. Not far to go to the Bialik. Still knackered. <laughs> so it's took us an hour to get to the Bialik. Up to the left is Stob Coririnyak, we've done that before. Straight ahead is the Big Buckle. Bukalet of Moor, and I must say, it's looking absolutely splendid today. Lorna has dragged me up here in about an hour, straight up, it's like being on a Stairmaster. She's amazing, I don't know, she's like a robotic penguin running up a hill. Look how beautiful that is, eh? And then, make it up there, over the back, and over, and you see, there's Lorna over there. And that, is Anakiga Ridge. So the weather was supposed to not be good enough, but we've kept an eye on it and we came and checked it and so far so good. So how are you feeling babe? Good. You need to shout because they won't hear you. There's hardly any wind, so much for the weather forecast. Do you th Remember, it's the chimp brain. Freeze, you just need to kick its ass. I'm proud of you anyway. Here we go. Go slow for me, you're too fast. Nice wee video back over at Stop Curry Rainy. Over that way is Ben Nevis. And then, not far to go before we get up to the ridge. Lorna's doing amazing. There she is. The Nemesis. Look at this for gorgeous light. Unbelievable day. Stunning. Love it. We can do this, babe. Are you there? Are you with me? Keep going. We can do this. I 
Yeah. Lauren and I are just saying that it's, it's less worrying without the kids on this particular ridge. We've never really took the kids up anywhere dodgy. This is only one we've ever turned back on um, <clears throat> because Lauren is vertigo, just got too much, but um, it's gone really well so far. But I cannot believe how beautiful it is. There's no wind, the light is stunning. You know, it's just perfect, absolutely gorgeous. Try and film bits, but we're going to try and enjoy it rather than filming it. I'll be back shortly. We never got this far, babe. Trust me. <laughs> I'm telling you, we we're not this far over. We were nearly. 100%. No, it was way back, babe. 100%. Last the boys, so they'll kill you. Look at that for a view. Oh my god. Did it, That's did it get any more beautiful than that? Oh my god. How gorgeous. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Nailed it, I think. I'm sure this is the top, but we'll go over there to get the final view, which apparently is amazing before the light goes. I'm so proud of this woman overcoming vertigo. The lady that went up Ben Vorlick the first time on her hands and knees had to turn back here. And she totally nailed it. 38 Monroe's. Oh, I'm so proud of you, babe. Look at that for a view. What about the view? And this week of terrible weather and still red weather warnings in Scotland. It's absolutely stunning up here. We will dash back down as quickly as we can. Say hello to the, action, the big book all on the way there. And then we're staying in Killing tonight. Kid three night, thanks to Natalie and Gavin, can't you wait? <laughs> anyway, I'll come back to the star of the show, which is my amazing wife Lorna, who I'm so proud of you, babe. <laughs> so we won't do a lot of filming as I said on the way back, but that's looking back up. Unbelievable shafts of light down by the buckle. And then look at this. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? You can see right through now. We've been so lucky today. Anyway, we're going to fire down on the Prosecco at the Killen Hotel. <laughs> and then tomorrow, we're going to where we get married, the Roman camps for our breakfast. How nice is that? Speak to you soon. So when we were here the last time, we stopped in at this cairn for lunch, and then we went up Stob Cori Ranyak. Um, so if you if you like the videos, go and watch that one because you'll see the route properly. But also you'll see what happened with Lorna and her journey with the vertical and how far we got and just how that it's possible to just keep going and the more hills we've done, even with quite severe vertical, it's getting better. So if you do suffer, hey Lorna, that it's uh, it does get better. Night and day, but it's still a long way to go. And what's the worst that can happen? You turn, the, you turn back, um, and you come again another time. But so I will say this, but I'm not going to film on the way down unless something majestic happens. And I'll let Lorna do the summary at the car park because, being a massive introvert, she will uh, hate me for that. But I think it's it's her hill today, so I want her to do the the summary. And just one final few of the Anak Eagle. So we said we wouldn't video, but look, look at the sunset beating off the Anarchy I hope you can pick that up. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> now, we've actually, that looks further to go, but it's, it's nearly six o'clock. Sunset's in about seven minutes. Um, and then we just need to get down, down over there to get to the car. 
We'll see you at the car park. So that's us back at the car park. It took us three hours and six minutes and uh, 4.69 miles. Um, so the reason why we came back here today was that if you've followed us for a while, you'll know that in the summer we came up here and I got quite near the top of Stop Dub, but I had to turn back because I just got really bad jelly legs and vertigo. So we came back today child free because it, it's less stressful having the kids because I'm worrying about myself doing it, but also worrying about them. So we thought today without the children, we'd see how it went. And I, I found it, in fact, I found it quite exhilarating actually more than anything. So it's a massive confidence boost. And I think it just kind of opens up the possibilities of what we're going to do next year. Cause it's only me that's compared to go. The kids are absolutely fine with the dodgy stuff. So yeah, feeling really exhilarated. So we're going to head back to the hotel now and get our dinner in a couple of seconds. I'm so proud of you. <laughs>